hello everyone welcome back to tech cloud channel in today's video we are going to discuss about path maximum transmission unit discovery which is pmtud in this video we will discuss about few of the topics like what is pmtud importance of pmtud how it works benefit and limitation of pmtud and we will also try to find out that how pmtud is in use or not Let's first see what is PMTUD. So PMTUD allows two devices to determine the maximum transmission unit. By default, the MTU is for the devices is 1500. And it's also ensure that optimal size of the data so that it can pass through the network easily. That way it reduces the fragmentation requirement. So it does the minimal fragmentation that also lead to the minimize of data losses in the network. So this is what PMTUD. Now the importance of PMTUD. So PMT is important for the efficient data transmission. It also avoid data packet fragmentation over network link and it decreases the performance issues in the network. It's also slow down the processing overhead in the network. Let's see how this PMTUD works. So here I have a host A and then the router and the host B. On the router, you can see here that this router has a 1400 byte of MTUD. MTU. So what is happening here host A will send a packet to the router. So now host A is sending a packet to the router which is by default 1500 MTU. The packet will reach to the router and the router will see it has the 1400 byte of MTU. So now router will reply back to the host A and ask to do the fragmentation. Because of PMTUD the host A will do the minimal fragmentation and then split this 1500 byte of packet into two packet that will become one packet for 1400 byte and the other packet for 100 so that it can pass through the maximum mtu on the router which is 1400 right now and there the host a can get a acknowledgement so this is how pmtud works in the network even on a bigger network it will go for the long path discovery and there it will analyze from where it can pass through with the minimum requirement of fragmentation now let's see the benefit and limitation of PMTUD. It improves the network performance by avoiding fragmentation, provide efficient data transmission, it also reduces processing overhead and enhances the overall network performance. It also helps to reduce the packet losses since we are doing or this PMTU helping to do the minimal fragmentation that it will reduce the packet losses as well. It provide ICMP filtering also so that we can block the ICMP messages or hinder the PMTUD processes. It also look for the path changes. So in case in a big network or in a multi hope network, if the path got changed, it will retrace the discovery process to identify which path PMTUD can follow to avoid the fragmentation and do the minimum fragmentation. Now let's see how we can find out if PMTUD is in you in the network or somewhere in the device. So on Windows we can use this command which is net sh interface ipv4 so sub interfaces. So with this command we will get this kind of output here you can see it's mtu so all of the interfaces we have in this device which is having mtu of 1500 similarly if you have a linux or mac machine you can use this command sys ctl net dot inet dot tcp dot path underscore mtu and then discovery with that command you will get this similar output kind of that will let you know about the mtu is in use to find out MTU better, we can use a Wireshark analysis. We can analyze the Wireshark logs. Then we can ask to the network admin or ISP to find out the maximum transmission unit in the network or the device. Or we can also check in the network devices like router, switch or firewall or any other network devices. This is all about PMTUD. Now here on the screen you can see it is a screenshot from the Wireshark log. Here you can see that this packet, this log saying that it required a 
Distillation is unreachable that required a fragmentation that needed a fragmentation. Another information you can check in the log under the ICMP header that you will see this next hope MTU is 1350. So in this log it is just 1350. We can calculate the MTU value as well. So to calculate MTU value, we need to know first MSS plus IP header plus ICMP header. So here what we will do, the IP header is 20 bytes and the ICMP header is 8 bytes. So the MTU is 1472, the actual MTU plus 28 byte of IP and ICMP header, which become 1500 bytes of default MTU. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please do like, comment and subscribe and let us know in case of any query. Thank you.